They've already sent billions of dollars of Amero to China to pay for some of the money they loaned. So they've already banking on the dollar bill collapsing. So they have to stimulate the economy so that you can spend. And when you spend, you're only going to devalue the dollar quicker so it can fall. All your jobs will be out. All your jobs gone. Your corporation's gone. If you don't think that your job can go overseas, call customer service one day and watch somebody answer the phone from Indonesia and say, how can I help you? It happens every day. Taiwan, how can I help you? It happens every day. Your jobs are gone. Where's your factories? You're not building nothing. It's gone. So what will you do? And we have some of these brothers, uh, uh, like the neo clans, kill KKK, and all these guys. They think they're going to be able to revert and have a revolution to fight. You're not going to win. They think they can fight like they did in seven in the 1700s against Great Britain. It's a different time right now. You got a lot of those guys out there stockpiling guns and doing all that. God, let me tell you, this is not a physical war. You cannot fight. This military, this brown military with weapons, you got to use your mind, your spirit, the spirit of the Most High. You can't fight this thing physical. So them guys going to lose. They're going to just brush those guys right out of the way. What's going to happen? You're going to get thrown out of your houses soon. These storage facilities you see, they're for storing people for temporary detainment. Okay? You're only one attack away. Or one disaster away from martial law and your military coming in and becoming your police. Okay? We have spoken with people in the military, and for the last 10 years, they've been training for urban warfare and martial law. 20,000 troops that used to be overseas have now been deployed within the borders for this next emergency. And y'all can look at us like we crazy. We've done our research, okay? And not only that, we got a higher research from on high, which is the Most High God who command us to come out here and warn you. Either you can change yourself and get to the change, or you can, or, or the America going to change you. Either way, you're going to be changed. Okay? When they knock on your door and say, listen, come on, follow that man. Don't think it can't happen to you. Look what happened over there in Germany. <laughs> okay? You think it can't happen to you? They're going to knock on your door and say, you know what? Come on. Well, hold on. Hold on. I got my rights. What rights? The rights George Bush signed away with the Patriot Act? Those rights? I'm an American. <laughs> what rights, man? You have no rights. Your rights are gone. Your rights are gone, they're going to label you terrorists. Okay? Yeah, well, Barack Obama, he called Guantanamo Bay. Oh, yeah, celebrate, yeah. Guantanamo Bay was just a test of what they, they're going to do here. <laughs> the law that already written on the book that is okay to torture. They don't need Guantanamo Bay, they can do it here now. You better wake up. Read. Galatians 4 and 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is, is the mother of us all. Read that again. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Brothers and sisters, it's time to leave America. But we're sorry. But where are we going to go when we leave America? We're going to Jerusalem, brother. We're going to Israel. That's where we're going. Right. We're going back home. We're going home. This is not home. The Bible commanded that we would come over here and call those slaves just because of the, of the sins of our forefathers. So we don't blame no people. You see people out here cursing out other people and saying, white man, this and this. Nah, we ain't into that. Okay? We understand that we suffered our sins. We suffered our punishment based on the sins of our forefathers. We were in Jerusalem. We were in Israel. We ran into Africa in 70 AD running from Roman persecution and slavery. Eventually, we were rounded up and brought over here in Congo slave ships. 
The Jewish people in Israel today, they're not the Jews. They're Jews by conversion, but they're not Jews by blood. There's a difference. We're the Jews by blood. We're from the tribe of Judah. Okay? Judah the lion, that's us. And for years, we lost our identity. But not just us, we got fellas. You got the Negroes, which are Judah. Okay? You got the Benjamites, which are the West Indians and Jamaicans. You got Levi, which are the Haitians. Yes, Moses, if he was living today, he would be a so-called Haitian. All right? You got Ephraim, which are the modern-day Malifa Taino Indian, the Puerto Rican. You got the Cubans, or Manasseh, which is Ephraim's brother, which are the Cubans. You got Gad, which is a North American Indian. You got Simeon, which is the, the Dominican. You got Naphtali, which is from the South Seas of the Pacific, which is the Samoans and Hawaiians and those of the Fiji Islands. You got Reuben, or Warabon, which is the, the uh, Seminole Indians. And also, there's a great remnant of them in Australia right now. Okay? You got Issachar, which are the Mexicans. Yeah, we got brothers. We all from the same family. Yes. Yes. You got Asher, which are the Colombians. Okay, you got the Colombians that goes all the way through <laughs> to Argentina and parts of Brazil. Because oil is on their land. Yes. You got the Panamanians.